Hello everybody. I wanted to talk today about what dining options you have aboard Silver Sea ships. Whatever you do, or whatever you're looking for with regards to dining, uh, you're going to find it aboard a ship. Um, I think that they are floating Michelin style restaurants um, and uh, you can have different food every single day. Um, and it's like going out to your favourite restaurant every single evening with an ever-changing menu. Of course, the probably the easiest way of getting fed on a ship is to use room service. And on Silver Sea ships, room service is available 24-7. If you want breakfast, then the butler will leave you a menu and... All you have to do is select your items before you retire to bed, uh, leave it outside the door and select what time you'd like your food delivered and it will miraculously turn up in the morning. That's a great way of starting the day, particularly if you've got an early excursion uh, or you want to get off the ship early um, or you know you just want a relaxing breakfast on the balcony and your butler will come in and set up the, uh, your table in the suite or outside on your uh, veranda, uh, if that's what you want. As I said, room service is available 24-7, so there is an all-day menu uh, which has a wide variety of international food, and the uh, way of, of ordering that is just to pick up the phone. Uh, if it's your butler's working hours, uh, then you can page your butler, uh, and he'll happily take your order for you. Um, outside of your butler's working hours, um, then you'll go through to the duty butler uh, or reception. Uh, they'll take your order and it will be delivered to your suite uh, after it has been cooked. If you're also looking for breakfast, um, then you have a variety of different options. Um, you can go to Atlantide uh, on some of the larger ships. You can go to the restaurant on some of the smaller ships. Um, or uh, you can go to La Terrazza, uh, which previously has been a buffet restaurant. I should point out that I'm recording this uh, during the COVID pandemic and cruise ships are not currently operating on the whole. And we're still trying to understand uh, what service might look like uh, once the cruise ship starts sailing again. My experiences are pre-COVID, um, so where I'm saying there is buffet service, um, I think it's likely that the buffet service or self-service will stop um, as part of the mitigations uh, for uh, the spread of the virus on board a ship. I must say, up to this point, um, I've never seen or had a problem with buffet service on ships. Uh, the uh, service is always impeccable. The cleanliness is without fault. Uh, you can very often see... Uh, crew members constantly cleaning down, uh, sanitising areas um, and making sure that things are at the right temperature. Anyway, um, back to breakfast. Uh, as I say, you could go to La Terrazza, Atlante, the restaurant um, or room service. Uh, for lunch, if you want to have lunch uh, on board ship, uh, then again, the main restaurant is generally open uh, on the smaller ships the uh, Atlantide um, on the uh, larger vessels uh, and the Terrazza is open for an international buffet lunch. For dinner you have a variety of options some of which are uh, open seating so you can choose when, how wh and who you dine with um, and I'll contact, uh, I will continue uh, in, in this video to tell you which venues uh, operate on which system. And there are also other venues where you need to book in advance. And they tend to be the speciality restaurants on Silver Sea. So let's look at each of the options in turn. Atlantide is a new concept restaurant uh, which has been introduced from the Silver Muse and into Silver Spirit once it was refurbished a couple of years ago. Atlantide is a bar and grill operation. Um, so it has a bar as part of the, the restaurant, so if you want to have a aperitif uh, before dinner, uh, then you can go there rather than one of the other main restaurants. Um, and the uh, venue itself um, is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Uh, in breakfast, it's a la carte, 
Uh, for lunch, again, it's uh, a, uh, uh, the, the sort of main menu operates um, and uh, you will get a different variety of lunch options every single day. And in the evening, um, it turns into a grill steakhouse type venue. Um, but the thing to note here um, is that the uh, menu alternates um, between two different menus uh, with various options changing. Um, so the, the menu tends to stay on for three to four nights um, and then they swap to the different one and then swap back again in another three to four nights. If you're on a long voyage, uh, then obviously you may get experience those menus uh, uh, um, um, several times. Um, if you're on a shorter voyage, then you'll probably only see the, 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 the switch once. Um, both are fantastic, um, great uh, options of steaks, uh, different variety of uh, appetizers, um, and uh, different options uh, if you're a pescatarian or vegetarian. Um, and uh, they they will always accommodate your needs that you if you if you have particular dietary uh, requirements. Indochine uh, is uh, on Silver Muse and Silver Spirit, and is an Asian inspired restaurant. Um, I've really enjoyed dining in this venue. Um, in fact, I would say it's probably uh, my favourite restaurant on board a Silver Sea ship. Um, I love Asian food. Uh, if you enjoy that too, then I'm sure you would love it. Um, it's a fairly relaxed atmosphere. Um, whether you will get full wine service um, and uh, lots of different options to, to eat from. Um, it's only available at dinner and uh, you will have an opportunity, again, a bit like uh, Atlantide, uh, of having a uh, switching menu uh, every three to four days. Um, so there will be a variety of different things that you can eat. Um, but to be honest, um, everything is fantastic. Um, so even if you're on a fairly long voyage, um, I'm sure you will have different things to eat, um, even if they flip the menu several times. What I also like about Indochine um, is as well as the wine service, um, they have a wide selection of Asian beers. Um, so if you like a beer uh, with your curry or other Asian food, um, then they really do have a great selection uh, from China, Japan, Thailand, Indonesia, uh, India. Um, you know, if you've got a favourite Asian beer, then they pretty much would probably have it on board. Um, so it's well worth checking out. Um, and uh, this is also different from Kaiseki and Seishin, uh, which I'll come to you later in this video. Kaiseki is the specialist Japanese restaurant that you'll find aboard Silver Muse, and it will be on the new ships Silver Moon and Silver Dawn. Um, this venue operates uh, at dinner um, and also operates a uh, reduced lunchtime menu uh, when you can get sushi and sashimi uh, served to you. In the evening there's a fixed menu of which there is an additional dining fee and uh, you will get a, uh, a, a set menu uh, built around uh, the, the kind of Japanese uh, fusion type cookery. There is a double tapan uh, grill, um, so the food will be prepared in front of you. Um, you do have a choice of sitting at the tapan grill um, directly in front of the chefs, um, or they have other seating uh, surrounding the, the grill um, if you'd prefer not to be so close to the action. The only option that you have is uh, whether you want a meat or a fish or a vegetarian uh, option, um, and that really just defines uh, the, the, the kind of selections that you get. Um, it's really tasty food. Um, you'll get served a glass of sake as you arrive, if that's your thing, um, and is a really nice experience to have. But as I say, this is one of the few venues on board uh, where there is an additional uh, dining fee um, if you choose to dine there. Uh, if you don't, then there's plenty of other options, and Indochine uh, will get you Asian fusion type food uh, if uh, that's what you're looking for each evening. La Dame is the specialist French restaurant on board and again is one of the venues where there is an additional dining fee. You have a bespoke menu a la carte menu uh, at this venue and is only available in the evening and needs to be booked uh, and you need to make reservations. This uh, 
venue is available on all the ships apart from the smaller expedition ships and um, so it's not available on the new Silver Origin um, and it's not available on Silver Explorer um, but uh, if you do go on the larger expedition ships Silver Cloud and Silver Wind that have just come out of the classic fleet uh, you will find a dumb on there as well um, so again this is a really interesting option uh, if you're looking for something a bit special or looking to celebrate a special occasion on board. La Terrazza is the uh, open all day um, uh, for lunch, breakfast and dinner. Um, it does close between uh, the various service times and um, so although I say it's open all day it strictly isn't open all day. Um, you may be uh, used to some of the very large ships having 24 uh, hour restaurants that never close. Um, these will close and have set meal times. So La Terrazza um, previously as I say, pre-COVID times, uh, was the buffet restaurant. Um, so for breakfast and lunch, uh, you could pop along for an informal uh, meal um, and serve yourself from the selections that are set out for you. Um, because of COVID, um, we are still not clear uh, what changes might be made. Um, but I think it's fair to say um, to uh, take into account the increased hygiene uh, that uh, all cruise lines will be putting in place post-COVID. Um, I suspect that self-service uh, in some of these venues will end. Um, so we'll, we'll see where um, that leads us, and I'll try and update this video uh, as and when uh, those changes are announced. So La Terrazza opens quite early, um, at various times in the morning, um, depending on when we're arriving in port, um, so if there is an early embarkation, um, generally the threats will open up quite early um, and that will uh, enable you to get breakfast before you go if you don't want to get room service. Um, for sea days, uh, it opens a little bit later um, and stays open a little bit later. Um, but uh, you know, if you look in your uh, daily um, uh, newsletter um, that's delivered every evening, uh, then you'll find that uh, the, the, the times are in there um, so you can make sure that you're, you're turning up uh, either uh, not before it's opening or uh, after it's going to be closed. Um, as I said for breakfast uh, it has been previously a buffet, um, a variety of hot and cold items, uh, cereals, fruit um, and uh, breads. Um, there will always be um, gluten free available if uh, you have specific dietary requirements. Um, and I've always preferred to go there because I don't like the formality first thing uh, and never quite decide what I want uh, the night before for breakfast. Um, so it's always been my place of choice um, and I've always really enjoyed um, the, the food in the Terrazzo. For lunch, again, it was an international buffet. Um, again, a selection of hot and cold foods uh, with uh, sandwiches, uh, breads uh, and, and, and salads and things that you could make up um, and ice creams and, and desserts and cakes and basically anything you want is there. Uh, if you, I, I would challenge you to find something that uh, isn't available on the buffet, um, even if you are a particularly picky eater. Um, and that generally opens uh, around midday um, and stays open for, for sort of two, two and a half hours. In the evening, uh, La Terrazza turns into the uh, Italian restaurant, uh, which is built around the slow food concept um, and has a really interesting and varied menu um, of, of Italian fare. Um, so if you like Italian food, um, I would suggest that you go at least once to La Terrazza um, in the evening. Um, you do have to make reservations. Um, but it is, uh, you don't have to pay an additional cover fee. It's already included uh, in your, your cruise fare. Um, so uh, La Terrazza is a really lovely place. Um, generally towards the rear with panoramic views. Um, it normally sits under the panorama lounge. Um, so you, you'll have a, be able to, to uh, look out if you're in port um, uh, and then see uh, the surrounding vistas. Um, if you're at sea, um, then again, uh, you can sit inside or outside um, and have a really enjoyable meal, depending on your own preference. The Salt Kitchen is a new concept that replaces Indochine on Silver Moon and Silver Dawn. 
as well as the restaurant there will also be a small um, concept kitchen um, where I understand they'll be offering um, um, cookery lessons and uh, further insights into the local cuisines. Um, so this directly replaces Indochine um, in the new ships um, and is billed as offering a variety of local cuisine uh, which I guess gives uh, the ship some options and the chef some options um, to tailor the menus to the regions that they're sailing in at the time. Um, and if you have a criticism of Indochine, uh, if you're in the Mediterranean, uh, you might not want Asian food. Um, this now gives them opportunity to uh, more focus uh, the, uh, uh, the the cuisine um, in, in regionally, uh, depending on where they're sailing, whether it's in the Mediterranean. Uh, in North America, South America, Africa, um, or indeed in Asia. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that uh, actually comes out. Um, this is only available on the new ships, Silver Moon and Silver Dawn. Seishin Restaurant is uh, only available on Silver Spirit um, and is the Asian menu uh, or Asian inspired menu, um, very similar to Kaiseki, so very Japanese in its, its uh, outlook. Um, but also, um, uh, I think that they, they offer some Thai, uh, Vietnamese and, uh, and Korea, India type uh, food as well. Um, it's available at lunch uh, when, uh, a bit like Kaiseki, uh, you can get uh, sushi and sashimi freshly prepared for you. And uh, in the evening, uh, it goes over to uh, a la carte um, for uh uh, a additional dining fee, a bit like Kaiseki. Um, so if you're interested in that type of food, uh, then if you're not on Silver Muse and want a similar experience uh, to Kaiseki, uh, then Saishin is the place to go. Silver Nose is a different type of venue. Um, this is predominantly set up as a jazz blues type club. Um, and there are no formal dining uh, in, in this venue, um, but they do offer an international selection of small plate type cuisine. Um, so if you're looking for a five course banquet, um, then Silver Note is not the place to go. Um, but if you want to go um, and listen to the uh, resident artists um, playing uh, jazz and blues type music um, whilst eating, um, then this is a really interesting place and a very popular place uh, on board ship. Um, obviously, in other venues, you do get um, music um, while you're you're sort of having cocktails and and uh, and, and uh, uh, other entertainments are available around the ship. Um, but this is specifically a kind of uh, dining stroke music venue, um, and as I say, is always really popular. Spaca Napoli is the onboard pizzeria on board Silver Spirit, Silver Muse, Silver Moon and Silver Dawn. Um, named after the famous uh, streets in Naples uh, where pizza was born, uh, you will find a uh, selection from uh, late morning, um, I think it opens generally around sort of 11, 11.30 uh, through to uh, evening service. Um, um, sort of closing uh, 9, 10 o'clock in the evening, uh, offering a variety uh, of pizza and side uh, dishes. Um, all authentic dough, um, they've got pizza ovens on board, um, you know, the, the, the proper equipment to give you an uh, authentic experience of pizza. Um, and it's a really nice place to go uh, if you want to sit outside, if it's a warm evening, um, have an informal meal uh, with your loved ones. Um, and uh, just enjoy um, yeah, some traditional Italian food. And say it's only available on Silver Spirit, uh, Silver Muse, Silver Dawn, and Silver Moon. The grill on Silver Sea ships is poolside. Um, so this offers um, food uh, from lunch uh, through to dinner uh, with a short break in between. And on some ships, uh, they will also offer a light breakfast, a uh, kind of early risers breakfast uh, in this area too. If it's not in the grill area, um, on some ships, uh, they offer the early risers breakfast in the Panorama Lounge. Um, so if you are up really early, which I never am, uh, and you're desperate for something to eat, um, and La Terrazza, uh, which is generally the first main restaurant to open, isn't open, 
um, then go and explore those venues to find something to eat. So the pool grill um, operates uh, during the day, uh, offers the traditional things that you would probably find in a pool grill, uh, burgers, hot dogs, uh, steaks, salads, uh, ice cream, uh, or should I say gelato because it's an Italian uh, based line, and uh, all the, the kind of things that you just want to sit down and have uh, 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 some food uh, whilst you're relaxing by the pool. In the evening, um, it becomes a uh, reservation uh, restaurant, um, so you do need to make a reservation, um, and operates as a hot rocks experience. Um, so this is where you'll cook your own food, um, they will prepare uh, your own starters, um, they will serve you drink and uh, wine service and all the rest of it, um, but for your um, main course, uh, that will always come up with a volcanic rock, uh, which I think has been heated to 400 degrees or some very high temperature, and uh, your uh, various meat or fish uh, will be delivered to you, um, and uh, you, you're the chef for the evening. Um, so that always comes up with an accompaniment of a baked potato um, and some grilled vegetables. Um, and again, it's a really nice experience, uh, something a bit different uh, from the main uh, restaurants on board um, if you're looking for to eat uh, outside uh, one evening. Um, so do give it a try. And finally, um, the last venue on board uh, where you'll be able to eat is the restaurant. Now, on this, uh, the smaller ships, um, the uh, Atlantide uh, stroke Indochine stroke uh, salt kitchen um, is not sustainable. So uh, rather than having two venues, they have one main restaurant. So this is the main dining room experience uh, on the smaller ships. Um, so this is on Silver Explorer, Silver Cloud, Silver Wind, Silver Origin, Silver Shadow, Sh Silver Whisper. Um, and uh, Silver Wind, if I've not said that already. And uh, this is open uh, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, a bit like uh, I said with regard to Atlantide, um, in the breakfast service um, is a la carte, uh, and a wide variety of um, breakfast items. Uh, at lunch, uh, there's a revolving menu um, of international cuisine. And in the evening, again, it's a revolving menu. I think, I tried to count them, um, I think there's 14 or 16 uh, different menus um, that will revolve through uh, your, your uh, voyage. Um, so if you're on a uh, voyage that's less than 16 nights, uh, 14, 16 nights, um, you'll probably never experience uh, a repeated menu. Uh, for longer voyages, uh, you will see at some point uh, you go back to menu one again, uh, which is no bad thing because there's some really delicious items on there. And what I would say um, is that the main dining room um, does seem to give the uh, chefs a bit more leeway um, to change some of the items on there. So I'm guessing what they have available, either what they've been able to procure in port, if they've been able to bring in fresh fish uh, or fresh vegetables, uh, from the port that you've just visited, um, then very often you'll find those on the menu uh, that evening or, or the following evening. Um, but also on the longer voyages, um, you know, what's still left in the larder. Um, so uh, you, you might find uh, that uh, the menu uh, becomes a, a little bit more uh, repetitive uh, at the end of a, a sort of 14, 18 night um, uh, voyage or longer. Um, than it would on a, a seven night Mediterranean. Whatever I say, um, you know, the food on board is always fantastic. The wine service in particular um, in all venues is fabulous. Uh, they will have at every uh, seating, uh, apart from breakfast, but I'm sure if you wanted wine for breakfast, they'd bring you a bottle. Um, for, for lunch um, and for dinner, um, there's normally a couple of recommended wines, both a white and a red. Um, if they are not of your taste, um, then uh, if you just speak to the sommelier and they will bring you another choice uh, of the uh, complimentary list. Um, if you have a particular style um, or region of wine um, that you uh, really enjoy, um, again, if you tell them um, I want a Californian or I want a Sauvignon Blanc, um, then uh, you can be sure that they will go away and find you something that will be to your taste. 
And of course, there's complete bar service. So if you don't like wine um, and you want beer, as I said, in Indochine, um, or uh, you want soft drinks, um, they're all available 24-7. Uh, what I would say is the food upon, upon Silver Sea ships is fantastic. Um, I've really never had a, a, a bad experience. Um, and even if something is not right or is not cooked to your liking, um, a quiet word with the waiter uh, or the maitre d' um, gets it resolved for you. In view of the Italian heritage of the line, um, the food does have an uh, Italian bias. Um, but that said, um, there's always a wide variety of international options available to you. If you have particular dietary requirements, um, then just let the maitre d' know on the first day of embarkation. Um, and they will make sure that that's accommodated for you. Um, I do believe if you have some very uh, specific requirements, um, then they find it helpful if you can let them know before. And I'm sure uh, you can either speak to the reservation team or through your travel agent, um, and they will help you with that. Uh, and particularly if you want things like kosher food, um, then uh, they, they will probably do that as a special order. Um, so I think uh, you know, if there's a particular requirement, um, then uh, it's best to let them know as soon as possible to make sure that you're not disappointed. But on board, um, if you don't like salt on your meal, um, you, you want uh, uh, vegetarian, uh, vegan, whatever uh, that might look like, um, or if you're celiac uh, and require gluten-free uh, options, um, then just let them know um, and they will do their level best uh, to uh, make sure that you're uh, fed uh, and fed well. Um, as I uh, as, as often is said, uh, when you go on a cruise ship, um, you arrive as a passenger and leave as cargo. Um, and uh, you know, there's always a, uh, uh, a thing about perhaps taking um, some larger sized clothes uh, for the last few days of your cruise because um, you will never go hungry. Um, and on Silver Sea, um, like a lot of other cruise lines, um, if you don't have a drink in your hand, uh, or if you don't have food on your table, uh, whether that's uh, uh, you know some bar snacks in the bar, um, or uh, you know you've you've ordered a, a three course five course banquet uh, in the main dining room, um, there will be someone asking you whether you want anything to eat or drink, um, and make sure you have the best experience uh, on Silver Sea ships. Please do like, subscribe, and comment on my content. Um, I really do appreciate all the comments that I do get. Uh, if you have any questions specifically about uh, food on board Silver Sea ships, um, then uh, drop me in uh, a, a comment. Um, I'll do my level best to respond. I'm always happy to ask que answer questions based on my own experience um, of having uh, over 350 nights aboard Silver Sea ships um, in the last uh, 10 years. 10 years, um, no, probably less than that, nine, nine years. Um, so uh, I think I've got a good experience of what goes on. Uh, you know, I'd be delighted to give you some hints and tips uh, if you've got any questions about your next Silver Sea sailing.